Hello and welcome back to the channel. Well today I'm back at the same garden I was shooting squirrels at last week. Uh, as you can see this is some fresh trail camera footage uh, from this week and it still shows that there's some visitors there and on one clip there was actually three squirrels so I knew there was still a few more uh, to go around. Uh, today was really the first sort of winter's morning it was only six degrees and driving down the uh, avenue to this farm I'd noticed that all of the leaves and the conkers have come off the chestnut tree so these fellas are now going to be starting to look for a bit more food so uh, hopefully uh, there'll be a few more to come in the next few weeks but uh, there's uh, another warning just coming up after this clip just so you know this is a hunting video and uh, turn off now if you don't want to watch it thanks very much catch you later on So that's that set up. Um, I've put my target there just to do a quick zero check as I normally do. And I thought I'd film this bit, little sequence again like I did last week because somebody sent me in a brilliant video of their dog going absolutely bananas at their television while this was playing. So this is for a special little white Jack Russell in the northeast of England. Let's hope he goes mad. He's behind the television. Hello and welcome back to the shooting hide. Well, today is Friday the 22nd of August. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the hide. Well, today is Friday the 22nd of October. Uh, I was here at about 20 to 7 this morning and sunlight is due to be at 7.41 so giving myself plenty of time to get set up. I've done my zero check on the rifle, that's okay. Uh, put the extra cameras out, that's all done. Um, I've noticed and you will have seen on the opening credits to the video there's some footage from this week's uh, trail camera on the feeder and at one point there was three squirrels uh, on the feeder and around it at the same time. So. I know I haven't got rid of them all. There's still a few unwanted birds here. So um, I'm all in, set up, ready to go, a cup of tea, and we'll just wait to see if they turn up. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you later on in the film. So I'd seen the, uh, there was a pair of jays that you saw in the beginning, um, and they both arrived, one stayed high up in the tree and let his mate come down to gorge himself, but I count there's about 15 peanuts this fella eats, um, so it's not as if they're just nicking one or two, they, they would empty that box within a week I should think, unless I'm sat in a tent of course. That sound on that previous uh, bit of footage, that was as actually what it sounded like. I haven't done anything to that sound, um, but you don't get that sound through the microphone on this scope, which is a bit of a shame. Sorted him out. They were all sort of showing up on the trail camera footage around about half eight, so uh, this, this fellow was almost on time. Um, I couldn't see his mate, so this, this chap was on his own to start with. Um, he goes for a bit of a walk around, so I've sort of edited a bit of this um, out, because he'd, he'd gone down uh, for about sort of three or four minutes. And then he freezes, he obviously sees the tent, and he's not too sure about it, because it wasn't there yesterday. Um, and they do tend to do it, and I say they said before, they're not stupid and they do notice things. He didn't notice that coming his way though. 
So again, I'd edited this bit out. He'd been up, down, up, down several times. I'd look at the camera. I wasn't too sure about that. So this is our first visitor, and it is half past eight. Not sure about the tent. There's going to be a freeze there. Huh? Doing a bit of a break down there, but you can't see him. Right, well that's number one down. And he's still kicking around. Hopefully his mate will be around somewhere. I caught this fella at the corner of my up in the top of the tree above me. Um, quite happily sat there roosting so uh, I thought I'd have to kneel down for this one that's why it's a little bit more wobbly oh, sorted him out little interlude while we're waiting for the squirrels to come I think that's what you call a splitting headache now look at this one, this one I did notice uh, had no left eye um, and again she goes on a bit of a, a wanderer about so you'll see the, the footage will change in a couple of seconds as soon as she goes out of shot um, but she had a couple of minutes down sniffing around on the floor. So on her way back up again you'll see now there's no left eye, it's just closed up. And they're sitting in the favourite position where they seem to be sitting and eating. Smelling his mate. The other one is down in that hedge. Oh, he's blind in one eye. Got no left eye. His whole head looks a little bit narrower, doesn't it, than normal. He's blind in his left eye. Blind in his right eye now. And a bit of a dance go on, mate. Right, weird. Well that's now just gone quarter past ten. Um, obviously I was here uh, way before um, daylight this morning, about twenty to seven and got set up. On the previous footage from the trail camera I'd seen three squirrels, uh, but when I came here on Wednesday, uh, Toby, one of the members of the staff here, did admit to seeing a squirrel and shooting it. So that could have been one of the three that was seen on my footage. Anyway, so two have arrived to the, the feeding box uh, and I've sorted those out. We've had some other visitors uh, near the feeding box and up in the trees, uh, which I was quite happy to, to deal with. So uh, I think you need to know when to call it a day. Um, I think this now sort of 10 o'clock time is was really the peak of the activity. So that's come and gone. Uh, I'm gonna finish my tea up, pack all my stuff away and uh, call, call that one um, quite a successful uh, session today. Thank you very much for sticking with it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the, the video. Um, please remember to like and subscribe and share the video with other like-minded hunters. So uh, until the next time, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Cheers. 
Well, again, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll, hopefully, I'll be back uh, back out doing a little bit of foxing soon uh, once the weather sorts itself out. We're on for a bit of a cold spell now. So, uh, anyway, take care of yourselves, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheerio!